In a bid to eliminate sex abuse from UN peacekeeping missions, the first major review of operations in 15 years has recommended that countries which flout children's rights be barred from blue helmet missions. Speaking after handing the peacekeeping report to UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon, former East Timor President Jose Ramos Horta, who chaired the 16 member panel conducting the review, called for zero tolerance on sexual abuse by soldiers. Member states must declare that when it comes to sexual exploitation and abuse, this staff of the United Nations should and will be held to the same standards, the same legal process, the same level of accountability as the rest of the world's citizens. The report also recommended six-month deadlines on investigations, compared to an average of 16 months, and an effective and adequately resourced victim assistant program. Ramos Horta also recommended that UN civilian staff face local justice. If in a given UN mission there is credible evidence against a particular individual, civilian, who uh, uh, operate under uh, uh, the mission, uh, if there are credible allegation, allegations, the mission must facilitate immediately due process to take place in that country, beginning with investigation. It must cooperate with authorities. It cannot challenge, create difficulties to the, uh, the host country because the person automatically does not have immunity on that case. This is what has to be very clear. You commit a barbarity, you have no protection whatsoever. You are subject to the laws of the country where you are operating. You know, he cannot hide under uh, the United Nations roof. The UN has in recent times come under criticism of its handling of a case involving French peacekeepers accused of sexually exploiting children in the Central African Republic. Another UN report recently indicated that UN peacekeepers regularly butter goods for sex with people in the countries the world body is meant to be helping. Over 80% of UN peacekeepers are deployed to trouble sports in Africa. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.